Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we broke out the big Kamado Joe, and we're going to be seeing how many, uh, if we can put four whole chicken fryers on the Kamado Joe this morning, okay? We have an office event, uh, potluck tomorrow, and uh, everybody wanted some smoked chicken because everybody doesn't eat pulled pork, so I'm going to make some pulled chicken today. And so we're going to go ahead and prep this stuff up. We're going to get on the Kamado Joe and uh, we're going to be using our Crown Royal uh, whiskey barrel chunks to provide the smoke. And uh, we're going to be using the uh, Kamado Joe slow roller today. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this chicken prepped up and get it on the Kamado Joe. All right, guys. So our Kamado Joe has been going for about 40 minutes now. And it's got up to like 400 degrees. So I got to bring the temperature down. So we're going to go ahead and get this prepped up. We're going to be adding our Crown Royal Whiskey Barrel Chunks. I'll put an I card up here if you guys want to see our um, initial review on this. I'm putting four in here. And then we're going to add our slow roller attachment. So I can prevent myself from getting burnt up. Okay. Then we're going to get our grates on. And we're going to close it up and we're going to close down some of the openings and see if we can get it back down to about 250 degrees. All right, guys, so it looks like our Kamado Joe is in the neighborhood of 250 degrees. Now, I noticed the monitor is not as accurate as it could be. So we're going to be inserting meter probes into our chickens to monitor the internal temperature of the chicken and to monitor the internal temperature of the Kamado Joe itself. So let's go ahead and get these birds in the smoke. All right, guys, so we got our fryers here. So I remove the foil. And as you can see, our, our chickens have been uh, in the pan getting happy. We injected these with Tony's butter injection and marinade. And then... We seasoned them with Killer Hogs the barbecue rub. So we're gonna insert our meter probes into our chicken breast. And we're gonna get these on the Kamado Joe. All right. Let's get to the joke. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you that I'm inside now sitting at my work desk and I'm monitoring uh, all four chickens. And this is I have my iPad set up here with the meter app on it. And as you can see, it's got all four probes here and showing each individual uh, internal uh, temperature and the ambient temperature around the probe, depending on where it's at inside of the Kamado Joe. OK. All right, guys, so the meter thermometer says that all of our chickens are between 165 and 170 degrees. I wanted to take it a little bit higher because I'm feeding other people. I want to make sure that it was fully cooked. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what's in here. We'll go ahead and do a double temp and then we'll go ahead and get them off. All right, guys, let's open old girl up. Burp it. Ooh, man, those look fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and temp one. 168, juice is just running out of it. 167, 
175 and 166. All right, let's get these birds off. Oh, look at the juice is popping out. I don't want to lose no juice. Let's get them in the bowl. All right, here's our big silver bowl. I'm going to put these in the bowl. I don't want to lose the juice. Because we're going to be pulling these. I better hold on to that before I have chicken on the ground. Chicken a la patio. There we go. Let's get these over to the table. All right, guys, so here are our chickens. I'm gonna pull out our pro probes. Ah, dropped one on the ground. I'll have to find it later. As I pull these probes out, I got fountains of juice everywhere. All right. Last one. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cover this with foil. I'm going to let it rest. I'm going to let the juices go back into the chicken. And we're going to let it cool down before we pull it. So hang around and we'll pull this as soon as this gets cool enough to handle. All right, guys. So our chicken has cooled down. We're going to go ahead and pull this. A lot of seasoning on the inside. I've already done a preliminary test of one of the wings, and the wings tasted fantastic. The only thing I would do different is that the it's really buttery, and but most of the um, the barbecue rub seasoning, of course, was on the skin. So next time, I think I will take a cup of the rub and put inside of the injection bottle, shake it up, and then inject it. That way, you'll get seasoning and the butter flavor inside of the meat and not just on the outside okay so we're gonna go ahead and finish pulling all this and then i will come back and show you what we got all right guys so here we have it uh the chicken is all pulled it's nice and buttery from the uh injection uh but most of the seasoning was on the skin even though it gave it a pretty color it didn't pass on a whole lot of the flavor so i'm just going to hit this lightly with a little bit of killer hogs after the fact we're gonna mix it up a little bit and then we're gonna have a quick taste test so all right so it was a great cook today before i do the taste test i just want to say as usual the kamado joe was fantastic okay we used the fogo lump charcoal in it and we used the crown royal uh, whiskey barrel chunks in it okay and so uh, I can I smell the smokiness in it, and we're going to go ahead and have a taste test now, okay? The meter, uh, multiple block uh, thermometer worked great. Uh, all four of them kept uh, almost close to perfect uh, internal temperature, um, which was double-checked by the Thermoworks pin, okay? So let's go ahead and have a taste. I mean, even though this chicken is cold, man, it's nice, it's buttery, it's smoky. That killer hogs gives a nice snap to it. Not too overpowering because we put a light coat on it, but this is fantastic. I think the folks in the office are going to like this. Might need to add a little bit of pepper in there to give it a little bit of oomph, but uh, for the most part, this chicken came out fantastic. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Yep, I think this is going to work out fine. I'll put it in my warmer, take it in tomorrow morning, let it warm on low until lunchtime, and we'll be ready to grub, okay? Well, that's all we have time for tonight. Hey, if you are interested in a meter thermometer, I'll put a link down in the description block to their website and to the Amazon page where you can purchase a multiple meter thermometer block if you're interested in one, okay? I'll also put a link down there for the Crown Royal Whiskey uh, barrel chunks. Uh, I love those, those are fantastic. If you're interested in checking out our video where we did a review on those, I'll put an iCard up here in the description block, okay?
Hey, do me a favor, guys. If you like our videos and stuff, please hit the like button. That definitely helps us out. Please comment, you know, even if you're just saying hello. And subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you as a member of the Bad Beast Barbecue community. If you're interested in some merchandise and stuff, check out www.badbeastbarbecue.com. We have merch out there. We have recipes out there, links to videos, and a few other things that you might enjoy. Join our mailing list, too, so you get notifications and get some recipes when we send them out uh, on a monthly basis, okay? Uh, and also, if you guys are interested in a custom cutting board, hit me up, okay? Or check out our Etsy page at Precious Engravings. Uh, we'll put the link for that also in the description block. Well, like I said, that's all we have time for tonight. You know, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Mm. Kamado Joe does it again. Catch you guys in the next video.